How's it going, everyone? Well, today's the day. I got the drive shaft for the Cressida, Crazy Da. I don't know what to name it yet. I still haven't named it. It's been two years. But got the drive shaft in. We're going to attempt to, uh, or not attempt, we're going to test fit it now. Uh, as long as everything's good there, then it's time to paint it and put the brand stickers on it, as you'll see in the future. So here we go. Let's test fit this bitch. Okay, let's see how well this camera angle works with my phone. Okay, kind of works. Now let's hope I don't smash my phone with the drive shaft. There we go. Oh yeah, that drive shaft is perfect. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. I uh, I forgot about that hoop. <laughs> okay then. Uh, I'm gonna have to take that hoop down. Be right back. Uh, okay, we're back. I don't know. No, you can't even see what I'm doing, but you can hear it. Oh, come on now. I'll be back again. All right, and we're uh, back again. Time to loosen this bolt again. I'm not musically inclined, so you know, have fun with that one. Damn, that hasn't been recording. So, got that brace off. I really suck at this YouTube thing, if you can't tell. And, uh,. Now shit looks awkward because I forgot to take the diff bolts out. Diff bolts. They're out now. So let's finally test it this thing. Come on, you went in there the first time. Ah, there we go. Okay. Oh yes. Perfection. Look at it. Would you look on to it? Just look on to it. Let's let's look on to it together. Oh yeah. She's got a shaft, boys. Or he's got a shaft. I don't know how you want to look at it. Okay, that was probably horrible. So, now we're going to pull this bitch back out, paint it, put that Husky Nation brand on it. Alright, so now that we know that it fits, we have it uh, hanging up. And in today's episode, we're going to teach everybody how not to do something. So this is how not to paint this. Uh, this is absolutely the worst and most wrong way to do it. I have it hanging from my garage from an aluminum uh, welding rod right next to the car. Didn't have masking tape, so I used electrical tape right here. Should probably go into higher depth detail and like just mask these out and paint the whole U joint. Sorry, paint the whole U joint, but I'm not going to do that right now. Maybe I'll do that in the future. I don't even know if that's needed. But for sure, the main part of the shaft is now going to get painted. So, enjoy the shitty uh, camera work and paint this.
Well, that's done. Uh, I'm gonna switch camera views right now. So, <clears throat> I choose to use uh, the engine high heat ceramic only because it like, it's just really durable. So, uh, one of the reasons that I'm not too afraid for me to do it the wrong way, paint it the wrong way, is because I've painted enough things that I'm pretty confident in being able to not overspray beyond that small margin there. So, and it turned out good. Well, can't really tell right now because the backlighting is brutal and whatnot. Let's get over here. Okay. Time to let this dry now and then apply the sticker. Put it on the car and well I guess in the middle of it drying we're going to maybe work on the brakes again so try to maybe 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 drive it in this video we'll see date up all right so we got that sweet husky nation sponsorship sticker slash uh, manufacturer sticker on here and uh, this is the special single piece I Love Jay's Sister shaft. Uh, so yeah, works out real nice. Looks real good and clean now. Been waiting a long time to use these uh, sponsorship stickers. And I think this is a perfect location. It'll be especially hilarious for the next owner whenever they jack up the car and see this and wonder who the heck is Jay's sister. <laughs> so, all right. Time to get this up in the car, that brace on there, and then start messing with fluids again and hope we don't have another catastrophe like yesterday. In today's journey into the deep gray, we travel underneath the car to view the finished drive shaft installation. Husky Nation Butte in there. Got the brace back on, and I guess while you're under here, you can take a look at here's the fuel line tidying I did the other day. All the mounts. Uh, let's see if I can turn the light on for you. There we go. All the way up there, and then here's the brake line coming back that I had to make. All tidied up. So far, no leaks in any of these. So, yeah, buddy. I don't know why I said that. All right, on to the next project. Here we are again. Okay, now that the reservoir is patched up with the JB Weld, once again, don't do this. I'm an idiot that just wants a temporary fix because I want to drive the car until I can get that reservoir replaced. And also, I'm willing to risk it. Maybe this works, maybe it doesn't work. Um, since I'm getting another reservoir anyway, I'm going to run this one until it stops working. Hopefully that's longer than 30 seconds from now. I gotta tighten down as well as I can on the last bit of plastic nut where the JB weld is. I learned from yesterday's catastrophe and covered up everything uh, down here, all my electronics with plastic. And I've also learned because of this, because I had not thought about this before where I placed these and that, I'm gonna build some kind of shield for all of this so that you just quickly pull it off, then you get to, to the electronics so that those are always like perfectly safe all right here we go fingers crossed or as Tommy would say cross your dicks still there we go still some fluid in there so far so good dry Dry. Oh. <laughs> Boys and maybe gals, we might be good. We might, we might, we might be good. Alright, I'm going to now switch and get in the car and test the pedal. 
So here we are. We got fluid in the reservoir. It's not leaking like it was, but if you can see on the bag, there is still a little dribble. I just can't get this clamp to tighten properly. I hate those styles of clamps. I need to switch over to a different style or something whenever I swap the reservoir. The other two are doing fine, but for whatever reason, this one's having trouble. So I uh, went on to work on the brakes a little bit while that one's just working itself out. And let's see, this end right here uh, that went into the fire bulkhead that I made, that thing right there. But on the other side, this flare, I didn't pay attention, but I messed it up really bad. It wasn't sealing. No matter how hard I tightened it, it just wouldn't seal. So, I didn't record it, but I took this line off. I chopped off that flare, reflared it, and now uh, this one is getting ready to go back on. This runs from the firewall bulkhead over to the, um, what's that thing you called? Brake proportioning valve. So. All right, get it back on and update you then. All right, well, this has been a semi-defeating episode. Um, the reservoir is still leaking. Bad. Like, very bad. Just watched it drip, as a matter of fact. Yeah. I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, I mean, I do get that one. That one I get. Cracked and all. JB Weld probably was never going to work. But I was really hoping it would be a temporary fix. It's all good. Uh, brake lines, though. Took one off, fixed it. The one I took off yesterday and fixed is now leaking again. I don't get it. And then this outer line right here, this upper outer line, also leaking both fittings so I get to redo that one too so well I'm at least going to end it on a good note and set you guys up somewhere to video to where you can see the back wheels move as I put it into gear and make this theoretically move under its own power so here we go